Hi, Elizabeth. This is Jeff with Zucker Marketing. Thank you so much for making time to talk with Eric. And as promised, here's your website analysis. So we'll be going over some few things that can actually help you rank higher, bring you more traffic, and of course, get you more customers. Let's go ahead and start off with your website. You actually have a pretty good looking website. You have your logo here. You have um, call to action, pretty good photos, nice layout. You also have client testimonials or customer reviews. So yeah, there's actually just some few things we're going to get over for us to make sure we get you on top of the search list. One thing I can tell you right off the bat is that Google loves content. Google actually would like to see a minimum of 1500 words on a homepage. And in addition to this, the more content you'll have, the more you look like an expert in Google's eyes. So of course, if you want to beat out the competition, you'd want to have 1500 words or more. So let's go ahead and do a quick count just for us to see how many words you have on your homepage. All right, so currently you have 1,153 words, not a bad number. However, we're still quite behind with the goal of 1,500 for us to actually be considered by Google as a trustworthy website. Another thing I would like to talk about are keywords. So Google is actually looking for keywords. It's looking for what the site should be found for. So if you have the exact words listed multiple times on your website, you're going to be really relevant for that search. And of course, Google is going to be willing to put you higher in the results. So I actually did a quick search of the roofers in one of the areas you're servicing. So we'll talk more about the results that we have here. Starting off with the first one. So these are what we call the map pack. And this is actually something wherein you really would like to be on since these are the ones that gets a lot of attention, a lot of traffic, and are easier to find. One way for you to actually be here is you'll need to have Google My Business Profile wherein you'll enter as much information as possible like the company name, phone number, email, company address, hours of operation, photos, and so on and so forth. And also if you add those same information in as many directories as possible, like on Yelp, Yellow Pages, Angie.com, that will also help you a lot to appear in the map pack faster. And moving on to the next part, these are what we call the organic searches. So these are all the websites that actually ranks higher without people paying for any ads, just because they're doing some certain things. And that's exactly what we're going to talk about and analyze. So I actually pulled up one of your top competitors' website. Let's see what they have differently. Well, looking at their website, they also have a pretty good looking website. So they have their logo here. They also have their phone number, pretty good photos. They also have videos, nice layout, and good amount of content. So let's just go ahead and dig deeper with the numbers instead. This is Ahrefs, one of the paid tools that we're using for us to have some more information on the back end of your website. So we'll be talking more about the numbers. Let's start off with DR. This will be the level of strength of your website and UR would be the trust, the level of trust that Google has in your website. Backlinks on the other hand, these are other websites that refers to your website so they're like shoutouts from different directories like Yellow Pages, Yelp, and alike. So I also have your competitor's website pulled up here. We'll be comparing the numbers and we'll actually see what they have differently. Um, well, it does show that you have more numbers with DR. So that just simply means that Google finds your website a more trustworthy website. However, you have the same strength of website. Their edge, on the other hand, would be on the backlinks and keywords, and that actually resulted to more traffic. So with that being said, let's go ahead and talk more about backlinks and keywords, and let's discuss the importance of this too. Let's start off with backlinks or what we call the referring domains. So as you can see, these are all the website that they have listed or yeah, these are all the directories they're currently listed on that actually brings them a lot of attention and a lot of traffic. That's why they're currently ranking higher in the searches. And next would be the organic keywords. So these are all the keywords they have listed on their website. So when customers search for these specific words, their website will show on top of the list. And if you also look at the numbers under volume, these are all the hits or clicks that they're getting with the help of each keyword. So that's how important in choosing the right keyword is. That way, more customers will be able to find your website quicker and easier. <coughs> Another thing I would like to share about keywords is what we call the hidden keyword. Um, so let me just look for a picture. 
All right, so let's use this photo as an example. So if we save this photo and, you know, instead of naming it with a generic file name, well, you can actually rename it with a hidden keyword and you can do the same thing with the other photos you have here. That way you'll be able to add more keywords to your website and not only that, for those words to not to be repetitive on your website as well. So just to wrap things up, the most important things that we can definitely do to improve your ranking is first the amount of content when we're going to add more words to your homepage. That way, Google will actually consider your website a more trustworthy website and a stronger website. Next would be the backlinks when we're going to add your information to more directories as possible. That way, we can actually bring you more traffic and of course, the higher chances of your website in appearing on the map pack results as well. Last but not the least will be the keywords where we're gonna help you out in adding more keywords. Um, and of course, choosing the right ones. That way more customers will be able to find your website faster and easier. So that's all that I have for now. If you have any further questions, feel free to call or email us back so that we can tell you the next steps and the other things that we can do. Thank you so much for your time. You all have a wonderful day. Bye.